Hi, I'm Peter Thorsheim, and I'm the modern British historian here in the department. My research really focuses on technology, the environment, and culture in 20th century Britain uh, and also 19th century Britain. I became really interested in British history because I was curious about how the Industrial Revolution affected the environment and people's lives. I focused as a graduate student on the environmental consequences of the British Industrial Revolution. And the dissertation and later book that came out of that focused on the problem of burning coal as a source of energy. Really what I was interested in was not only what did this do to the environment in an objective sense, but how did it affect the way that people understood their culture, their economy. I argue in my book, Inventing Pollution, that this attitude toward coal smoke changed dramatically by the late 19th century, and something that people had earlier put up with or even seen as a positive emblem of economic prosperity, they came to see as, as a threat to their health and their civilization. For my second book project, I decided I wanted to do something that was more squarely in the 20th century. And I decided initially to, I was thinking I would write an environmental history of the Second World War in Britain. I stumbled upon something that I'd known had existed, but I hadn't really looked at it in detail, which was the, the campaign to recycle everything they could get their hands on in Britain during the Second World War. And the working title is called uh, Waste into Weapons, uh, History of Recycling in Britain during the Second World War. I essentially argue that recycling played a, a really an unappreciated role in helping Britain win the Second World War. Recycling was a way to militarize everybody's kitchen. Everybody's home became part of this united production drive in the eyes of the, the government. And environmental history as a field really is, is something that draws upon a number of different um, methodological approaches and people do environmental history in different ways. For me, I'm really interested in not only thinking about the material um, reality of the built and natural environments, but also the way that people think and understand those environments.